with deals already falling through, speculation around the business that they're doing, and also players such as Barva Bruggen being stolen straight out of their hands, have Burnley ruined their transfer window? The simple answer is no chance but there is some issues so when this Sulemali deal first emerged so many fans were outraged i mean it was a loan deal with a mandatory fee of around 15 million euros for a player with two senior appearances in his full career well earlier this week we were in fact told that that deal is now off after the medical was passed and the deal all but confirmed burnley allegedly wanted to change the terms of the deal against borussia dortmund's wishes as a result that meant that the transfer collapsed however just like in this relegation, every cloud does have a silver lining. Oh, let's go! That's class! The collapse of this deal does in fact open the door for Burnley fan favourite Taylor Harwood Bellis to make a return. We know how incredible he was last year and just how integral he is to the Vincent Company system. Topping the Burnley player charge for interceptions, clearances and blocks per 90 on top of his ability to play out from the back, Harwood Bellis is already known to be a perfect fit in that back two at Turf Moor. And almost as soon as the Sulabali deal fall, it was reported that Harwood Bellis was back on the Burnley radar and something even more reassuring was the phrase England under 21 captain wants out of Manchester City. I mean the fact he wants to leave City to go to Burnley. Fuck me we really are massive lads. So with the City man obviously wanting Burnley after making it so clear last season the feelings towards the Clarets and him allegedly making his feelings clear to the club upon where he wants to be next season. A deal that would likely be around £50 million could be phenomenal. £50 million for a young English centre half with lots of experience and brilliant leadership. It would be such a bargain. Not moving too far from from Taylor Harwood Bellis, we are now on to the England under 21 superhero, James Trafford. It has been stated for a fair while that Burnley had signed Trafford for around £14 million, rising to £19 million from Manchester City. And after his holiday post Euros win, it's expected for the transfer to be confirmed by the club. And honestly, what a signing this will be. I am so confident that he is going to be phenomenal. Brilliant shot stopper and so young, yet still has so much experience in the EFL and is very, very good with his feet. He's a perfect fit for the Burnley system. It is also brilliant to see them fans that were crying all over Twitter about us paying 40 million for an unproven youngster. For them to all now be absolutely gagging from being a Burnley shirt after he made that 98th minute wonder save. But now moving on to another ex loney it's Nathan Teller's time. According to this Southampton journalist, Burnley are beginning to really push for the signature of Nathan Teller. It's alleged that Burnley are desperate for his services with an initial talk already taking place to find the valuation for both clubs. It's expected for talks to ramp up in the coming days in order to strike a deal with Teller very, very happy with a potential move back to Turf Moor. Yet the only potential issue may be the price tag. Southam supposedly want 15 to 20 million for Teller, however it's alleged that Burnley don't really see him being valued at that high, so there could potentially be a problem between both clubs as they try to come to an agreement. But he was Burnley's top scorer last season and again another fan favourite. I'm sure Teller will be welcomed home with open arms. But now again, on the front line, we're looking at another deal which has been maturing over the past few days. It's George's Miko Atateze. I've so definitely messed that name up. Burnley have had a 50 million euros bid rejected by FC Metro. The club supposedly waiting for a 20 million fee and are very confident that they will get this amount. There is interest in Georges from Italy and Germany, but the clubs are interested are allegedly nowhere near the evaluation that Mets want. This is not the first time that rumours have linked the Georgian striker to Burnley and I really do not think it'll be the last. With 23 goals in the Liga 2 last season, I mean, I do know it's probably the same quality Quality is playing Accrington Stanley every week. Accrington Stanley? Who are they? But on top of that, he has crazy amount of technical ability. I really think Georges could cause some serious problems in the Prem like season. Well, for every club other than Burnley. And I think he would be perfect for company and could be the perfect striker that the Clarets need. But um, competition for Georges. Wow, Vegost is back, lads. Valt Vegost is back. He supposedly got an assist in Burnley's friendly against Sheffield Wednesday this past week. So I think really, Vegost is going to be a good contribution. If he goes, Burnley are going to get a decent fee. I mean, he, although he didn't do amazing for Man United in terms of goals and actual assists, his contribution in the build-up and the link-up play is undeniable. He has the technical ability. He has the kind of role that Vincent Company would be looking for. He fits the profile. And I do think he would be class in this Burnley team. However, on the other hand, as I said earlier, they would get a decent chunk for him. So if they do go to sell him, that will also go and fund a player like George's. However, if they don't, I guess they can kind of save the massive 50 
15 to 20 million that they may have to spend replacing. But I do want to know what you guys think Burnley should be doing with their goals because, um, it's so many mixed opinions. Anyways, if you have enjoyed this video, then make sure you go check out this one right here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.